about building a better, uh, kinder, and a safer planet. And, uh, and what is important for me about these Europeans is the fact that four of my eight grandchildren are European cappuccinos. Because my daughter, Anna, uh, married that crazy Englishman who made Counter-Strike popular all over the world, but gave up and became, Dylan became the ninth richest uh, uh, man in England at the age of 25. But uh, he was so miserable because he, you know, the, the video games did not improve the lives of people. He felt he destroyed the lives of a lot of people and making them addicts to Counter-Strike. So he sold the business and decided to become a philanthropist. He gave away all his money. So when he married my daughter, I didn't even know if he had enough money to raise my, my daughter and my grandchildren. But anyway, he's also the, the genius behind the success of human nature. Because he feels that if he can make video games which is harmful, the, 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 his company gameplay, the, the most popular in Europe, then he believes that he can also create wealth for the poor in this country because he says that his children are Filipinos. And he chose to give up England to live in the Philippines. And uh, he, he flew the other day with my two granddaughters because he'll be joining me in, in Oxford, uh, I think, because he felt obligated that since many of the people who grew up in England were influenced by his video games. But, you know, this is the thing. We are global citizens, and I want my grandchildren to be safe if they're in Europe or if they're here in Asia. And I want them to see Europe as their home. I want these Europeans to think of the Philippines as their home. And I like to see Brother Mike as, I see him as a brother, as my family, you know, because he has me help make Singapore my home. And again, we're not talking about creating wealth, you know, that will be kind to this planet, that will be kind to people wherever they are in the world. And so anyway, I think I spoke too much. It's just that uh, a lot of people in the world are now curious about what, uh, what Gawad Kadinga is, how the spirit, the greatness of the spirit of ordinary people like you you don't realize how how La Salle has contributed towards building this work. You, our first volunteers in 2004 in Baseco were from La Salle. And we were able to build uh, a thousand homes uh, for for the, the victims of the fire in La Salle. But that became a template for many other big slums that we we, we transformed in, 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 uh, in Davao, in Cebu, in Iligan, and so on. And now we're going into uh, helping also the uh, typhoon victims, but now we're creating wealth in the countryside so that people will have jobs and they don't have to go to become squatters in the big city. So I was just hoping, since summer is coming, and we hope that we can really uh, connect with La Salle Business School in terms of really developing social entrepreneurs. We have our incubator in the Enchanted Farm. We are doing this in Davao as well, as well as in Iloilo with Western Design State University. Life Bank is giving us 40 million just to develop the, 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 the Enchanted Farm Village University in Iloilo so that we can really create 30,000 social entrepreneurs for them. And I promise the president that we will, I will work with La Salle Ateneo and, uh, and the other top schools to raise half a million social entrepreneurs in this country. Uh, and so I was wondering, would your students be interested this summer to have a social business camp with us. Yes. And we'll teach them how to make, we'll teach them, they will learn how to make uh, golden eggs. Yes. Yay! <laughs> and they will learn how to make clean ice cream instead of dirty ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. And they will learn how to make uh, fromage from, from goat's milk, cheese. And they will be working with Alexis and Tomas. And I was with Chris Chu last night yeah. because Ateneo has scheduled their business camp with us April uh, 21, 22. I was wondering if some of you will want to join them or if you want a La Salle based uh, social business camp with us for two days. We have very beautiful accommodations now. Maybe we have even air conditioned rooms, but if you like to have our grass cabanas just like the, the accommodations that you will have in uh, Boracay. No, we want you to experience the beauty of the countryside and uh, to be working with people from, different, from other schools. And we want you to be able to meet agriculturists. We want you to see how we grow lettuce in the farm. It's interesting, we now have a bumper crop of lettuce. We grow six, all the all varieties of lettuce in the country, including iceberg, which is very difficult. 
And I called my friend who lost his shirt because together with four of his friends, they invested eight million towards using uh, Israeli technology, hydrophonics, etc., etc., and they lost their shirt. And I said, we grow lettuce without having to spend so much money and do it organ organically. So I guess sometimes we just spend too much money for foreign technology that does not work in our country because it sounds important. So <laughs> I just want uh, for us to really get to know the land, get to know the people. And uh, so if, if you are interested, maybe we can have a, a team from the South yeah. to do that. And uh, you will hear Dylan. You will hear the most successful young entrepreneurs uh, uh, speak. And you will hear some people from La Salle, like Chua of Shell. So they get exposed to the, uh, the, the to successful people. At the same time, also, they get to, to learn how to actually start their own business. Our goal is, while they're still studying, to really have a vision of the kind of, uh, of, uh, of uh, business models or business that they want to set up. And we can, we can connect them with people who have the technology. And so it's important for us to really learn to to connect with uh, with people and also to do it because we want to uh, help improve the lives of the poor. So anyway, I think I talked too much and I just want to thank you for the hospitality. I'm here to just thank La Salle for, for all the uh, well, all the contributions you've made towards uh, building the hope of the Filipino uh, in Gawad Kalinga. Salamat po. Bravo. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for being here. We request you to stay there. And I'm opening the floor for some questions. So it's open for the time. Oh, yeah, uh, you perhaps can ask how can we be able to be actively involved in respect to social entrepreneurship and innovation. I'm an accounting major, I'm a finance major, I, I don't plan, I don't intend um, to do any business in the future, but how can I be a social entrepreneur if I'm like this or if I'm not a business major? So you, it, it's really uh, an open forum so anyone can just ask questions and of course you don't be kind enough also to answer the questions. I'd like to first answer your question. Oh <laughs> because you're into accounting, you're into finance. No. Uh, you see you cannot run a good business unless you are into finance and accounting. No, unless you also have people in your team because we're really looking at this as teamwork. So when we do our business camp, we usually have these talks about, you know, the heart of business, the mind of business, how to really uh, uh, be a wealth creator, but we group them into teams that will actually look at the specific industries, and they have to be. And it's a mix of people who are, you know, uh, good in uh, good in uh, in money, people who are good in in H, in in uh, in uh, with the uh, in uh, product development. Because uh, look at how big corporations are done. You know, uh, with entrepreneurship, you have to be able to work with people who have the knowledge that you do not have. So when they do the business uh, account, we group people according to the interest. So if there's about 10 of them interested in making ice cream or in starting a business in, in making cheese, then we group them together. If they want uh, coffee or chocolate or, or, or essential oils or perfumes and fragrances, we group them together. So. Uh, there's a place for every profession yeah. in, in social entrepreneurship. Now, now you have to distinguish, because uh, we talk about social marketing. Social marketing is the, is, uh, you know, our, is simply, speaks uh, uh, simply about solutions to social problems. But with social entrepreneurship, we're talking about social enterprise marketing. And uh, so it's important for us that, that, and we talk about optimum profit, not maximum profit. Okay. Thank you, Tito Tony. Dr. Velasco? Okay. I'll just bring the mic there. 